Keith Myers here again. I'm going to do another lesson on infighting with the cane so you can kind of see some of the things that we show, showed in the last lesson but didn't have a partner for. One of them I called the kayak motion, which is very important for weapon retention. And if you remember, it was this motion, this kayak. I can go forward or I can paddle backwards in the stream, right? Going backwards. Forward and backwards. When we make it a more formal drill, I'm going to do the kayak motion and then I'm going to come down with the chopper and the bayonet thrust. Kayak, chopper, thrust. Kayak, chopper, thrust. Kayak, chopper, thrust. Kayak motion, down, thrust. All right? So, weapon retention. This is a most important motion. So, if Olsen has grabbed my, my cane, right, here, I'm going to use that, that motion. Now, the idea is to generate leverage, and so you can see in this kind of configuration, I can generate the most leverage when I have the outside hand. So I would choose to do this direction instead of this direction, right? Because I have the better motion, moment, or leverage. You just have to practice it, and you can feel it. I can really collapse him this way, where I'm fighting more going this direction. So again, we're in this kind of situation. Here is my kayaking motion. And then that slam it down, thrust. Now, this chopper is what frees the grip. Because if I just, if he was really hanging on, really trying to hold on, and I just did this, see, it, it's still a fight. But when I kind of shorten that arc and snap down, that's when it breaks his grip. Boom. So again, he's here, he's really got a hold of it, and he, my motion is here. Bam. Okay? That motion. Now, if he's grabbed two hands in the center, both my hands are on the outside. I've got all the leverage, and I can go either direction because I've got the wider grip, and I'm on the outside. So it doesn't matter. He's holding. I could go this way. I could go this way. I've got all the leverage. Okay? If he grabs two hands on the outside, boom. Now it's more of a fight because he's got better leverage than I've got. I've got to really swing him over. So in any of these, I could step forward or back, but we're just keeping it simple. In this case, I would probably be stepping in because, I, again, I want to add to my leverage to be able to wrench this out of his grip when he's grabbed it that way. So in that case, too, instead of doing the thrust as a follow-up, I can do the smash as a follow-up. He's grabbed wide like that, and I've come across, I've stepped in to break his grip, and then my next step is right there, and I smash him and knock him down. The smash, okay? Now, also keep in mind, this guy is very strong. He's grabbed it that way. Uh, now it's a struggle. Remember, you don't have to just do the cane. It's a struggle. It's like, okay, I know Bartitsu. I can do use low kicks. It's a struggle. Bam, 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 until he lets go. Or, I know Bartitsu. I know how to grapple. It's a struggle. It's a struggle, right? Boom. I take him down. It doesn't have to be with the cane when it comes to that kind of exchange. Now, if I'm here, he's grabbed my stick. He's trying to keep me from doing something. I just have to think immediately, get my other hand on the stick, right? Whether it's here or way out here. But even if he's grabbed that way, I got to get my hand on the stick, and here's my stirring motion, right? And I got to get the leverage before he does. So we grab my stick, I'm going to be here, I'm stepping in, there's my leverage, boom. So we'll do it again. He's jumped forward, he's grabbed my stick, I immediately do that motion, boom. Same, same kayaking motion, just from way out here. If I'm here and he grabs my stick with one hand in the middle, like that, just one hand, right? Well now that's, that's easy, he's grabbed the stick, maybe he's about to punch me, but I take it here, right? And there's my hit. It's still that same kayaking motion. What else could we envision? This position has less usefulness, right? Because why would he reach down and grab my cane? He probably wouldn't. What if he reached down and grabbed my hand? Well, I could do kind of these flippy things like that, but that's just stupid. Because if he reached down and grabbed my hand, I'm going to do this. Boom! He reaches down and grabs my hand. I'm going to do this. Boom! 
I'm not going to worry about trying to do something to break his grip. I'm just going to take him out, right? Because it's not an even fight at that point. He's, he's put himself at a disadvantage. He's reached over and grabbed my hand. Maybe he's trying to keep me from using the cane and he's going to punch me, right? He grabbed my cane and he's about to punch me. So I defend. And right there it is. So I don't worry about my cane, okay? So that's my down and dirty for weapon retention. Kayaking motion to the chopper and thrust. Kayaking motion to the chopper and the smash. Now, if you wanted to go the next level, when we've talked about some of the sweeps and throws, it's very easy once he's grabbed to start working in some more advanced material where I'm stepping into him. I do my kayaking motion as I step in, and I end up in something like this and throw him down. But we'll cover some of that stuff later.